Dwayne Chapman, also known as Dog the Bounty Hunter, has tracked down over 6,000 criminals as a bail bondsman. He became famous after capturing Max Factor, who was both a rapist and heir to a major fortune. It was so noteworthy that A&E decided his work could make a fascinating TV show. No amount of fame, though, can heal the hurt he's had to endure to become as strong and capable as he is. Keep watching to learn about tragedies like losing his daughter, Barbara, when she was only 23. Losing his daughter Barbara Cady died in at age 23 in a car accident. She was a passenger in a stolen SUV that rolled and crashed into a tree. The driver, Scott Strandefer II, also died. Nobody knows what caused the accident because there are no skid marks or signs of going off the road. The tragedy occurred the day before Dog's wedding to his fifth wife, Beth Smith. He gathered his family together to discuss whether they should continue with the celebration. They decided it would be a way to honor Barbara's life. They were also missing another honored guest, Beth's dad, Gary Smith. He died two months before he could walk her down the aisle. Dog told the guests the news at the reception. He gave them a heartfelt speech before the ceremony went on. Barbara is survived by her son, Travis Drake Lee, who was only four at the time and went to live with his father, Travis Mims. Dog and Beth took temporary custody after hearing he was being abused there. Barbara even asked for her father's help before her death. He heard audio tapes of the events, and it brought back memories of his own childhood. There was no way he could keep from stepping up, but he hopes Travis will step up too and become a proper father someday. Losing his wife Beth died in June of 2019 at age 51 after a long battle with throat cancer. Dog called it horrible and unexpected, admitting that he found it difficult to celebrate her life while mourning her death. He also says that work to find a cure needs to go on because, quote, some get lucky, but most pass away. He revealed his wife's tender final words. After calling on God together, her last thoughts were of her family. She said she loved them, asked if they were all right, and told him not to worry. Dog met Beth at a police station when she was arrested for shoplifting. They had an affair while they were both still married. They divorced their partners and got together officially in 1995 with her as his best co-worker. The family revealed her diagnosis in September of 2017. She had to have a 13-hour surgery to remove a tumor. That ordeal was chronicled in an A&E special called Dog and Beth, Fight of Their Lives. They thought the cancer had been removed after that, but it returned. Dog remembers she continued fighting as hard as she could until the last moment. He first admitted in an interview in November of 2018 that she wasn't doing well. She needed to have more surgery to remove a mass from her throat. She began chemotherapy in December, but was hospitalized in April and even went into a coma for a time. Beth's presence is still felt around the family home. Dog is still finding her notes around the house. He also struggled to deal with living there without her for a long time. The family turned to their faith to get through their grief. He believes there is a God and that he'll see Beth again, but admits, quote, that all we can do is hope. Dog's Secret Sons Dog had his first child, Christopher Michael Hecht, with a woman named Debbie White. She was only a teenager, and it was during his wild days. He didn't know about him until Debbie died of suicide, and they were able to reconnect. Dog also made a surprising discovery on the fourth anniversary of Beth's death. He suddenly realized he had a son named John who he hadn't known about. That solemn day was even his birthday. He made the connection when he saw a picture of the boy with his wife, Jody. Dog said that the news redeemed the heartbreaking day for him. Unlike with Christopher, it isn't clear yet who John's mother is because Dog has at least 12 children. He's going to open up about the incident in an upcoming memoir titled Nine Lives and Counting. A Rough Childhood Dog lived with four children. His father regularly beat him with a paddle and battered him in boxing matches. He revealed in his 2007 book, You Can Run But You Can't Hide, that he used to believe the abuse was his fault. It took him time to realize he wasn't being punished for some sin and still cries about it today. He dropped out of school at age 13, joining a motorcycle gang, the Disciples, and that's when he began falling onto the wrong side of the law. Jail Time Dog is now a famous bounty hunter who's captured plenty of horrible criminals who've tried to skip town and avoid paying bail. 
That doesn't mean he's avoided the slammer, though. He's gotten into trouble several times with his motorcycle gang, including arrests for armed robbery and other crimes. The most serious item on his criminal record came in 1976. He was 23 years old and waiting in a car when a friend shot and killed a man in a drug deal gone wrong. He says he was merely an accomplice, but he went to jail for first-degree murder. He served five years at the Texas State Penitentiary and was barred from using a gun or traveling to the UK. To add insult to injury, his first wife, LaFonda Sue Honeycutt, who was also the mother of his sons, divorced him and married his best friends. That wasn't the end of his illegal exploits. He later went to federal prison for bounty hunting charges after tracking down the criminal that made him famous. Losing and falling out with other children Dog hasn't only lost one child. His son Zebediah was born to his second wife, Anne Tegnell. He died at only a month old in January of 1980. His sons Dwayne Lee and Leland walked off the show in 2012. The reasons aren't clear, but they've made up since then. Dog's daughter, Bonnie, has publicly accused him of being racist and homophobic. She has expressed her, quote, ever-growing disappointment, but says she's forgiven him for his actions. He issued a public apology, but denied the claims and said he'd been permitted to use the N-word by his, quote, black brothers. It shut down the show for months until the network renewed it. Another child hasn't made up with him yet, and her reasons are unknown. His daughter, Lissa, released a memoir called Walking on Eggshells. It claims that Beth was an alcoholic and Dog was on drugs. She falsely accused him of sexual abuse because she was molested by a friend of his. She said she wanted to get away from it and the family fights, so she took matters into her own hands. Death Threats Bounty hunting is a dangerous business, and Dog almost certainly has a long list of enemies. A few of them decided to fight back with dangerous threats. He received emails in the spring of 2012, including graphic threats and references to murder, sexual assault, and his time in jail. The FBI did a full investigation, and Dog intends to prosecute the senders to the full extent of the law should he ever find them. Money and Health Struggles Running after criminals every day eventually caught up with the now 70-year-old bounty hunter. He began to develop chest pains. He was diagnosed with a pulmonary embolism. Doctors told him to stay in the hospital for treatment, but he walked out. He later went on the Dr. Oz show and said he regretted it. He felt like he was a ticking time bomb and wanted to get his heart to a point where he could be around for his family. Money problems did make this more difficult. Dog's net worth was once in the millions, but Beth's extensive treatments and a stint of not being on TV left him without money. He was even on the brink of losing his home. Finding New Love Dog got engaged to Francie Frayne 10 months after Beth's death. They were married in September 2021. Francie had also lost her husband, Bod, to cancer six months before Beth died. The couple wrote their own vows that honored their spouses. Now it's time to hear from you. What was the most surprising part of this story? Let us know in the comments section below.